Hello and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you're new here, welcome, welcome. And if you're returning, thank you so much for your support. Recently, I've noticed that my number of subscribers has increased. Thank you for taking the time to smash that subscriber button. And thank you so much for hitting that like button. It boosts my ranking on YouTube and makes my video more visible for people. So thank you so much. Today, I wanted to talk to you about black strap molasses. In my prior video, I discussed my use of black strap molasses and started my journey on NAC. I wanted to revert the color of my hair from gray to the original color. So I had started NAC and it was almost two months in and about two weeks prior, I had decided that I would give black strap molasses a try. So I started taking black strap molasses and I would like to share a bit more information with you about black strap molasses. So this is the black strap molasses that I use. It's a bit, I got it like this from the store. I kid you not. So this is the one that I use is plantation black strap molasses and it's unsulfured. So firstly, we should start with what is molasses? Molasses is the byproduct of making sugar, whether it is derived from sugarcane or beet. Molasses is the waste product that will be created. So this one that I have is supposed to be from sugarcane. And the ingredient it says here is unsulfured blackstrap molasses. In the process of making the sugar, they utilize sulfur dioxide and this is potentially carcinogenic in the human body. So when you do get your black strap molasses, you want to make sure that it is unsulfured. So that's very important health wise. So black strap molasses came up on my radar of trying to go from gray to my original color. And black strap molasses is worthy of incorporating into your diet because it offers so much nutrients. Now, usually in making sugar, in making white sugar, there is zero molasses left in the sugar. In making brown sugar, there's some molasses left in the sugar. And then molasses is the byproduct, the waste product that is extracted. So this waste product is nutrient rich. Some people utilize it as a substitute for sugar. If you're trying to reduce the amount of sugar in your diet, blackstrap molasses is a good way of doing so. Now, blackstrap molasses does contain some sugar. There is some sugar in blackstrap molasses, so it's not avoidable there, but there is less sugar. The sugar content is as low as, as they go in processing. So some of the nutrients in blackstrap molasses that makes it a worthy addition to your diet include potassium. I have my reader here potassium, zinc, silica, and iron. These are some of them. In my video, you're probably going to see me insert a little picture and frame here showing you the nutrient profile of black strap molasses. So some of the trace minerals that make it very, very good for your body include, of course, the iron used in making hemoglobin in your blood. Also, there is copper used for creation of hormones and enzymes within your body. It's also used in energy production. You have manganese that is used in blood sugar regulation and cerebral function. You also have iodine. That's a component of the thyroid hormones. Selenium for bone health and making DNA as well and thyroid function as well and vitamin B6. Now, some of the health benefits of black strap molasses and as a woman is very, very good because I am iron deficiency anemic. So I require high content of iron in my diet because my body doesn't retain iron that well. So use of black strap molasses incorporating this into my diet is very, very beneficial. Also as a woman, it will help with 
heavy menstrual cycles. It also helps lower the glycemic index. When you consume blackstrap molasses, you don't have those high spikes in your blood sugar level. It maintains a steady blood sugar level. And also some people utilize it for constipation um, issues, sometimes with kids and sometimes with adults. So blackstrap molasses is a laxative and therefore it helps. Blackstrap molasses is also rich in polyphenols and this is a good antioxidant. So antioxidants, as we know, help to eliminate free radicals within the body and oxidative stress in your cells is thereby reduced using the blackstrap molasses. Now I started using blackstrap molasses. It came up on my radar for my hair. So I started using it to help reduce my grays. I'm over 40 and I started to notice that I have about three gray hairs in the front here and Lord knows how many in the back. <laughs> so I decided I was going to incorporate this to help with my reverting of my hair from the white hairs that had started to sprout to hopefully the original color. Now I started using the black strap molasses sometime around May 11th this year. So I incorporate it into my breakfast cereal. I usually will have my oatmeal or my Weetabix and I'll have about a tablespoon of black strap molasses in there with my cranberries to make it taste good and all that. So yeah, so I'll have that mixed into my cereal. So every morning without fail, I take my black strap molasses sometimes in the evening i try to have a glass of milk and when i say milk i mean silk <laughs> milk because i don't drink dairy that's a whole other issue not that good for the skin it seems but it varies from person to person so incorporating the black strap molasses into my diet as well i'll probably have a tablespoon of that in my milk in the evening if i have milk and i have noticed i probably have milk maybe 50 percent of the time so every morning I have my one tablespoon and probably 50% of the time I've been having an additional one tablespoon of black strap molasses in my diet. So I have noticed that the hairs at the front of my hair, I'll try to incorporate a picture. They don't photograph well, but I, I can see them when I get close up. So I'm going to try my best to incorporate a picture of my grays there don't judge you'll have them eventually too if you're lucky <laughs> so i'll let you see the before picture of what my grays um looked like and hopefully you'll be able to tell the difference between when i started my black strap molasses mind you i'm also taking knack and knack is supposed to help um, with the oxidation of the hydrogen peroxide so thereby helping your hair not to go gray so using these two in conjunction hopefully they're giving me a chance to win the battle but I I don't think it's happening as quickly as I would like and thank you out there um, my good friend um, suggested to me using full tea this was also on Lola's like lessons, um, her use of full tea, but I'm kind of between a rock and a hard place in designing because one of the drawbacks of using full tea might be potential liver damage. So in my quest to quell my <laughs> grays, I don't want to endanger my liver health. So I think for now, I might stick with black strap molasses and see where it takes me. So it's a slow journey, I must say, but I can see the light at the end of the tunnel. So hopefully this video has been helpful to you and you'll decide whether the health benefits of black strap molasses makes it worthy of incorporating into your diet and reaping the benefits. And that jingling you're hearing constantly is my cute little kitty, Freya. <laughs> I guess she wanna be in the video. <laughs> Yeah, without that bell, she's so tiny, I tell you, she'd go missing. We recently adopted her. She was a cute little stray that we found, and she's a good addition to the family. 
So yes, thank you so much for joining me again. And I enjoy, I quite enjoy making videos for you. And please leave comments down below. Let me know if this video has been helpful to you, your own personal experience. Let me join your journey as well. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button and the subscribe. These are important to lift my video in the ranking so it will be seen and hopefully help other people too. Thank you again. I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Remember, take care of yourself, be good to yourself and love the skin you're in. Bye.